Hi. Hey. Um, what's up? Donna here. I'm back. Um, before I jump in to review the Biosense Squalane and Zinc Sheer Mineral Sunscreen with you, I just wanted to give you a super quick reminder to go subscribe and go like the video. If you aren't inclined to like the video, leave a comment. Tell me how you like it. If you have any questions about this afterwards, I'd be happy to answer it. Um, so yeah, let's jump in. Today we are talking about this um, Biosan sunscreen. It is called the Squalane and Zinc Sheer Mineral Sunscreen. They say plant derived squalane. Now it's broad spectrum SPF 30, um, PA++++, and then it says that it protects and moisturizes the face. So this one, which is a full size, um, is 1.7 ounces for $30. And then it has like a jumbo size. I think it's, they call it a jumbo or somebody does, but it's 3.38 ounces for $42. So it's a better deal than, than this one. Um, a lot of the things that they say this product does is it is powerfully invisible. Um, it is a zinc sunscreen, so no titanium dioxide, just zinc, just a physical zinc sunscreen. Um, it is lightweight, deeply hydrating, soft dewy finish, can be used in place of your moisturizer, and protects and moisturizes your face. Um, so a couple of the key ingredients, the first one being zinc oxide. It's a 14% zinc oxide. That's the sunscreen. That's what's protecting you from the UV rays. The next one is squalane. Biosense just like loves squalane. They put it in every single product to differentiate themselves somehow. Um, squalane is an emollient, fills in the cracks. You know, your, your epidermis is a bunch of blocks. You gotta get the mortar in there. So squalane's like a mortar fills in the cracks so it keeps it all sealed and healthy and they say they have water lily in it which they say cools and calms um and I looked up water lily and it's an antioxidant so that's very nice some of the other ingredients that I wanted to point out to you um from the list that they don't like highlight in their marketing is that it has glycerin in it the humectant and then it has just like a number of emollients in it so it is this sunscreen, not a moisturizer, the sunscreen is drawing water in and filling in all the cracks in your face. So like your epidermis, think of it as a brick wall, right? And you can't have a brick wall without all the little gray mortar, I don't know if it's mortar, sealing it up, right? Holding it together. Emollients are all those things sealing it up and holding it together. So it's got a number of emollients. It's got glycerin in it. Um, it's got antioxidants in it. So it's actually got ethyl ferulate, which is an ester of ferulic acid. Um, so it's fighting free radicals. It's like protecting and defending and also like going in and repairing damage and like, and like helping your face feel moisturized the whole time. Like it, it's a pretty amazing product actually. And then, and, by the way, there's no hyaluronic acid in it, which I love about it because hyaluronic acid isn't something you want to use on the daily in all of your routines everywhere, right? It's a special occasion sort of thing. So, no HA. That means it's perfect for people with dry skin. All those emollients, glycerin in it, you're going to feel like moisturized for the first time, like ever probably, if you buy this thing. So, with that being said, I absolutely adore using this product. The sunscreen, I like wanna reach for it every single morning, and I have to stop myself sometimes, like, oh, try other things, time to try other things. Um, it doesn't give you too much glow, like some um, mineral or physical sunscreens do. It is full of ingredients that benefit your skin, smooth feeling. It is invisible on my skin. I wish, this is what I wrote down, I wish I could afford to use it all over my body. So, I think it's perfect for generally all skin types. It's 
perfect for dry skin. I have more oily skin and I love using it. And then um, it's better for acne prone skin because mineral sunscreen sit on top of your skin. They drunk it all straight absorbed in there to clog your pores. And then uh, there are some preservatives and things like that in there that might hit sensitive skin users a little bit differently, but I read like 50 reviews from sensitive skin people on the website and they were like, this is the only one I can use. It's like the first one I've been able to use without breaking out and you know, so sensitive skin people are loving it too. So let's try it. So I'm going to reapply my sunscreen right now. I'm just going to keep these on so that you can see what's going on. And so I used a new moisturizer today because I'm going to do a film soon, a video soon about cheaper moisturizers. Um, yes. And the one I used today, my skin's not really loving. And so I'm a little oily today. So I'm going to dab some of the oil off. And I used a different sensor. And then the way, uh, my favorite way to reapply sunscreen is use a facial mist. So this is my clearance Burt's Bees where I'm pretty sure I bought this thing without, I thought it was on there, but then when I got it home, it wasn't. So I took this off my glasses cleaner <laughs> and put it on here. So the spray is done. And then I'm gonna shake this up. Those are the instructions, shake it up. So this is a thinner texture. So the, okay, I'm gonna get closer. This is a thinner texture. So we shake it up and I'm holding it upside down, right? And I'm gonna, you gotta hold it upside down or it's gonna fall out at you, right? This is too expensive. So it's very thin. Ooh, this is hard to do. I'm not even sure if I got the right amount. It's very thin, see how it just mm, glides down there. I'm just gonna spread it around. See, it's very thin on application. So you're not feeling like you have to like rub this thick sunscreen around before it dries and leaves white streaks all over your face. I'm gonna get close. I don't have any like white streaks anywhere. It's just giving me like this slight glow. And that's it. It's so easy. Like I didn't even feel like I had to uh, work it in, work it in, work this white stuff in. Ooh, 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 ooh. I don't have to do any of that. Got nothing, got nothing on there. Just sunscreen, just protection. I didn't get enough for my neck, but yeah. As far as pricing goes, this one is in in like the realm of daily under your makeup, not sweating all day long, not at the beach all day long, not getting wet all day long, daily like anti-aging sunscreen. This is pretty affordable. So it is um really comparable to Drunk Elephant's Umber Sheer, which they have, theirs is like 34, but it's three full ounces, right? So if you bought the jumbo size, 3.38 for 42, um, it's just a little bit more expensive than that. But the Kula mineral sunscreen that I reviewed a few weeks ago, it was 42 for 1.7 ounces. So it was a, it was a pricey one and it wasn't my favorite. So if I had to choose between the two, I would get the I would get this one. Um, so yeah, it's fantastic.